welcome students in this video we are going to learn different notations used in reaction mechanisms to study any re organic reaction it is necessary to find out its reaction mechanism and while writing reaction mechanism different notations are used and we are going to learn what is the meaning of that different notations and when these notations are used first we see the simple notation that is dash it is represented like this and that dash represents the covalent bond and we know that the covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons covalent bond are of two types sigma bond and pi bond in hybridization lectures we see what is meant by sigma bond and what is meant by pi bond both sigma bond and pi bonds are covalent bonds and covalent bond is represented by a dash for example the simple molecule hydrogen chloride in case of hydrogen chloride the bond between hydrogen and chlorine is of the type covalent bond therefore that covalent bond is represented by dash the another example for example this is the compound methyl chloride or chloromethane in that case there are four sigma bonds carbon forms four sigma bond with other four atoms three with hydrogen and one with chlorine when there is on saturated system then compound contains carbon double bond carbon in that case also these bonds are the covalent bonds and the covalent bonds are denoted by a dash we will see the next notation that is curved arrow this is the curved arrow when we see the reaction mechanisms such type of curved arrow is used to show movement of pair of electrons for example in case of hydrogen chloride the bond is of the type covalent bond and covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons and in that case that curved arrow indicates that this is the movement of pair of electrons and the movement of pair of electrons is towards chlorine atom therefore after movement of pair of electrons these two ions are form h plus ion and chloride ion curved arrow there are two parts one is head and another is tail the head indicates the origin of electron density and the tail indicates where the electron density forward or goes that is from head to tail the electron density transfers and the curved arrow it is used to show movement of pair of electrons the another example it is methyl chloride in that case also the curved arrow is shown to show movement of pair of electron the electron pair between chlorine and carbon it moves towards chlorine atom therefore as carbon becomes electron deficient it carries positive charge and the electron pair goes towards chlorine atom therefore chlorine atom carries negative charge phenol in case of phenol there are two lone pair of electrons on oxygen atom and that lone pair of electron migrates towards benzene ring like this as the curved arrow migrates towards it there is a bond between oxygen and carbon becomes double bond and as oxygen becomes electron deficient it carries positive charge again the electron density from that two carbon atoms it migrates towards that carbon atom and thus that carbon atom carries negative charge thus curved arrow it is used to show movement of pair of electrons the another notation is half headed arrow or fish hook arrow it looks like fish hook therefore that notation is known as fish hook arrow this fish hook arrow it is used to show movement of single electron 
in case of curved arrow it is used to show movement of pair of electrons but that fish hook arrow it is used to show movement of single electron for example in case of homolytic bond fission the shared electron pair is equally distributed between two bonded atoms in that case such type of fish hook arrow it is used for example that is chlorine and dissociation of chlorine in presence of uv light the symmetrical cleavage takes place the shared electron pair it is equally distributed between these two chlorine atoms the share one electron goes towards that chlorine atom and this electron goes towards that chlorine atom and to show movement of single electron such type of half headed arrow it is used and after dissociation chlorine free radicals are obtained what are free radicals these are the atoms or groups having odd number of electrons that are known as free radicals the another example is that is methyl chloride and the bond between carbon and chlorine it is symmetrically cleaved it is known as homolytic bond fission at that time also the shared electron pair it is equally distributed between carbon and chlorine one electron goes towards chlorine atom and one electron goes towards that carbon atom and after dissociation we get methyl free radical and chlorine free radical that is half headed arrow it is used to show movement of single electron the next notation that is double headed arrow the double headed arrow looks like this and that double headed arrow it is used to show resonance between two structures for example in case of conjugated system the resonance takes place resonance means redistribution of pi electrons and that redistribution of pi electrons it is shown by double headed arrow that pi electrons are moved between these two carbon atoms and such type of resonating structure is formed remember that this is the curved arrow which is used to show movement of pair of electron and this is the double headed arrow which is used to show resonance between these two structures this is structure 1 and this is structure 2 structure 1 and 2 are the resonating structures and that resonating structures are shown by like this for another example it is benzene in case of benzene these are the two resonating structures of benzene the only difference between these two structures is that the position of the double bond in the first structure there is a double bond between these two carbon atoms and in this structure there is a double bond between this and this carbon atom that is pi electrons are redistributed between carbon atoms and to show resonating structures such type of double headed arrow it is used the next example is resonating structures of phenol these are the resonating structures of phenol and phenol has number of resonating structures because it contains lone pair of electrons on oxygen and also three pi bonds in benzene ring and as the number of resonating structures increases stability of that molecule increases that lone pair of electron takes part in resonance and these are the resonating structures of phenols and in between that two resonating structures the double headed arrow it is used and remember that that double headed arrow it is used to show resonance thus in this video we see different notations like this it is dash which represents covalent bond the second is curved arrow which indicates movement of pair of electron the third one is half headed arrow which indicates movement of single electron it is also known as fish hook arrow and fourth notation is double headed arrow and that double headed arrow it is used to show a resonance between 
two structures. Organic chemistry, it is a very simple and interesting subject. In organic reaction mechanisms, such type of different notations are used. If you know the meaning of that notations, then it is not difficult to study organic chemistry.